Okay, so I have the word transcendent or transcendence. In the Greek, it's hyperbalo or hyperbole. English elements is overcast. It's a spectacular word, and Paul uses it to explain the revelations that he got from the glorified Christ and the power of God that operated in order to give such a revelation of what was to come. For us, the members of the body of Christ, it's going to be a spectacular event, our change from mortal to immortal. And right now, the glorified Christ, the immortal glorified Christ, our brother, our head, is next to God right now. We're there in spirit because we're part of his body. But soon, we will be there right in the throne room of God next to God in Christ. We will be there surrounding the throne, I believe, the members of the body of Christ in that sense of transcendence. Well, this word is just a powerful word. So, the scripture references for it, 2 Corinthians 3.10, For that also which has been glorified has not been glorified in this particular, on account of the glory transcendent. 2 Corinthians 4.7, Now we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the transcendence of the power may be of God and not of us. Ephesians 1.19, and what the transcendent greatness of his power for us who are believing in accord with the operation of the might of his strength. Ephesians 2.7, that in the oncoming eons he should be displaying the transcendent riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 3.19, to know the love of Christ as well which transcends knowledge that you may be completed for the entire complement of God. 1 Corinthians 12, 31. Yet be zealous for the greater graces, and still I am showing you a path suited to transcendence. 2 Corinthians 9, 14. And in their petition for you, longing to be acquainted with you, because of the transcendent grace of God on you. 2 Corinthians 12, 7. Wherefore also, lest I should be lifted up by the transcendence of the revelations, there was given to me a splinter in the flesh, a messenger of Satan, that he may be buffeting me, lest I may be lifted up. And finally, 2 Corinthians 4.17 For the momentary lightness of our affliction is producing for us a transcendently transcendent Ionian burden of glory.